Is it really true the Kings are headed to the playoffs? I'm hearing that. Nobody's been talking about it. No, I'm hearing it on ABC 10. They've been talking about it a lot. <laughs> anyway, it is the battle for Northern California. It all happens. Golden One Center and the Warriors are coming to town. There's a whole lot of excitement, a lot going on in the next few days. So here's ABC 10's Matt George with a breakdown of what's to come. Good morning, I'm Matt George. We now know the full schedule for the Kings and Warriors playoff series, which you can see right now on ABC10.com. But the cliche in sports is one day at a time. And yesterday was a practice day for the Kings. All-star center DeMontis Sabonis talked about the pressure on the team heading into Saturday, while head coach Mike Brown shared his thoughts on a potential Kings and Warriors Northern California rivalry. I'm not sure if it's a rivalry yet, you, you know, but, you know, but uh, if, if, if it can end up being that, then fantastic. I think... Uh, I think rivalries are great in, in any uh, competition out there. You know, it, it, it adds extra juice to the uh, whole environment or atmosphere whenever uh, two teams uh, play each other. So uh, I'm, I'm all for it. I, I, don't, I, I wouldn't say it's quite there yet, but uh, if it does get there, it would be awesome. Oh, I don't think there's no pressure at all. You know, um, we're ready. You know, we're doing our job. We're going we're gonna to treat it just like we did uh, st starting a training camp, you know. We all believe in each other. We all trust in each other. So we, we just got to go and play our game. Kings and Warriors game one is right here on ABC 10 on Saturday. It all starts at 430 in the afternoon with a special edition of ABC 10 News. The game coverage starts at 5 p.m. with the Kings and Warriors tipping off shortly after at 530. That will be followed by a special edition of the ABC 10 News with a full recap and post game show as soon as the game is over. Again, it's all starting Saturday afternoon at 430 only on ABC 10. Okay, Matt, thanks for the heads up on all of that. Good information for the Kings. It's a long time coming. Video from the last time they were in the playoffs against San Antonio at Arco Arena. Ron Artest shooting the jumpers for the Kings back then. And that was obviously 2006. Game one is Saturday, tip-off 530. It'll be here on ABC 10. Monday night, Kings will host game two. That's 7 o'clock. Then everybody gets a couple of days off before the series shifts. Thursday to San Francisco's Chase Center 7. And the final guaranteed game, which is game four, will be the matinee in San Francisco Sunday the 23rd, 1230. That game is also scheduled to be here on ABC 10. And if the series goes longer than four games, game five will be in Sacramento on Wednesday the 26th, game six in San Francisco Friday the 28th, then the pivotal game seven will be Sunday, April 30th in Sacramento. Times for all of those games are still to be determined. And with that being said, let's take a look at something that you can get involved in pretty soon. Starting tomorrow, fans will have the chance to celebrate this historic moment in time for the Kings. ABC 10's Marcus Allen live across from the downtown commons in Sacramento. So, Mark, what, what kind of activities does the team have planned for all the fans tomorrow? Well, uh, all kinds of activities. Let's start with this, where you normally would see the downtown skating rink right here at 7th and Daniel Stern, where it meets K Street, uh, the Ali Yosef Square. I'm going to see if camera guy Don can go up and over this fence. I don't know if you can get a sneak preview of it yet, but this is going to be filled with people all trying to get a shot of themselves with the sixth man statue. If you're an old timer like me, or per perhaps uh, you can remember back in the day when people would flock around that at the old Arco Arena to take their photo with it, it's going to be in there so you and the kids can uh, show up and take your picture there. You can also have yourself made into a Kings fan bobblehead uh, in there, all kinds of other things. It's going to be first come, first serve, and you can walk in. However, uh, it might fill up. With that said, you can make reservations. Follow me on Facebook, Marcus Allen Show. I'll tell you how to make reservations to get into the playoff playground. Now, crossing the street, the big action is going to be tomorrow, 24 hours in advance of the actual tip-off for the game that you're going to want to watch on ABC 10. You'll be able to be a part of a big celebration. We're going to want people to pump up get ready to light the beam. There's no one that doesn't know what we want to do. You just stepped off a light rail. What do we want to do? Light the beam! One more time. Light the beam! Exactly. Now, if you got that guy's kind of spirit, you want to be on the other side of Golden One in the plaza. That's where the celebration begins tomorrow, 5 o'clock, and it's open to anybody, everybody. You don't have tickets to go to the game. All you have to do is show up. All kinds of 
DJ, live acts, uh, people from the Kings, Slamson will be there for photographs and all kinds of specials. I'm told there's a Purple Rain. What's Purple Rain? It's a drink, a cocktail created by Polanco, which is right there inside the plaza, steps away from where you're going to be. Now, I want to talk about something and also preface this by saying, not affiliated with the Sacramento Kings in any way, a local dispensary has, of course, jumped on board and you can light the beam in that way. Take a look. One of our team members here at A Therapeutic Alternative, Cotty Kush, came up with the idea of a pre-roll called The Bean, because you know you got to light it up. We're big King supporters here, and she said, you know, why not light up a joint? Light it up. What does that mean? It's a joint, right? That's what we think of when we say light it up. That's what some people think of. Again, I want to say the staff and management affiliates and the signs of the Sacramento Kings not affiliated with that in any way. I just thought it was one of the more unique branding opportunities. I will say if they sell a lot of that, the purple churros will probably be sold out in the plaza. And yes, they are going to have purple churros and lots of other King stuff all in honor of lighting the beam, getting ready for the big tip off of the Sacramento Kings game. And again, you're going to want to watch that on ABC 10. Back to you. Light the beam, yeah. whatever that means to you. Whatever it uh -huh. means, yeah. Everything that starts with rolling papers mm -hmm. generally ends up with churros. There so you, you go. make a good point there, Marcus <laughs> Allen. Say hello to your friend there on Light Rail Forest. Good answer. <laughs> okay, my friend, we do have you all covered for the latest Kings news and insight. It's called the Locked on Kings podcast, hosted by the gentleman you saw a moment ago, Matt George. You can listen daily on the ABC 10 mobile app or watch it on the ABC 10 Plus streaming app. In the latest episode, um, I'm joining Matt and Kevin John. We're talking about the big question, how many Warrior fans do we think are going to end up inside the Golden One Center for Game One? I'm going to assume it's more than how many seats they have. <laughs>